it ranges from really high adrenaline to just sitting staging somewhere in really hot 90 degree plus weather sometimes just sweating in the summertime just just um, waiting for either to go home or to be called out again. During his six years on the Ramsey County Mobile Field Force, Detective Nate Hook has spent days at a time sweating in the hot summer sun, a role that can be as draining and uneventful as it is exciting. Obviously we're getting updates all the time about Leading up to the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, Detective Hook talked about some of his past deployments, and though nonviolence during a protest is ideal, sometimes it's not reality. Ultimately, what we hope for is nothing. Absolutely nothing happens. Right. And Hook's introduction to the mobile field force was his deployment following the shooting death of Philando Castile, sparking peaceful protests that turned to violence in the following days, leaving nearly two dozen officers injured. And when the officer who shot and killed Castile was acquitted of all charges, some 2,000 protesters took to the streets, eventually blocking Interstate 94. And once you've done that, you know, there's, uh, there's not much you haven't really seen after, at that point. City and safety officials are gearing up for what may come during Chauvin's trial, especially once a verdict is reached, saying they're better prepared than last year, where rioters caused $350 million in damage in Minneapolis in 82 million in St. Paul, and though Hook is reluctant to discuss specific tactics of the mobile field force, he's confident they're prepared because, he says, they prepare for the worst case scenario. We, we're just there to do a job, maintain neutrality, and make sure that people are safe when they do that. Because we have seen incidences, like I said, where you only have to have one person decide, I'm gonna take a car and run, run people over. You know, we can't have that kind of thing. At a time in policing when high-profile cases draw high criticism of police, Hook acknowledges it's a profession that can take its psychological toll, but believes it's a role that must be filled. I think it's an important function, even though there is a degree of danger to it. I think, like I said, somebody has to do it. Um, and I don't think I'm overly special or anything like that, but I think you do have to have the right demeanor with a degree in history, Hook welcomes the potential to become a part of history, and in a way, he already has. He and fellow officer Isaac Tuma provided security at the inauguration of President Donald Trump as part of MFF. I think the, it appeals to the history side of me in some ways, because you, know, you, you could be part of an event, like going down to the inauguration, you're kind of part of history as you do that, you know? And I think those experiences are kind of cool. And no matter what may come in Minneapolis in the coming months, He's prepared to go where duty takes him, despite the risks. So in the back of your mind, you're always concerned, I'm, okay, am I going to get hurt today? What, how, is, is the crowd going to get out of control? What kinds of resistance? Is, is there going to be resistance? Is, is it going to turn, like we say back home, is it going to turn to complete custard here and, and, and all hell's going to break loose? Um, I haven't seen those things, fortunately. I, I, I know... I've seen bits of it, and I, I mean, I've, I've been in those situations, but I haven't, we haven't had, um, I haven't been so worried that, you know, I felt, oh my God, I, I want to take off my gear and go home.